right, so I filled in two new functions actually, print board to make it easy to see what the board looked like because without that, if you're looking at the board variable, it just looks like a mess because all the rows are um, printed one after the other. So my print board function is gonna make it so it's easier for debugging to see what's in which row and which column. But then the function that I want to talk about now is fill in. So fill in takes which column does the user want to go in and then which player are we? Are we player number one or player two? So the way to call this is pass in a number between one and seven because there's seven different choices. So when we go ahead and run it, it says, do you want to pick one through seven? I'm going to say go in the first column. And based on the number I give them, it's turned into an integer and passed to the fill in function. So the first thing I do is subtract one. Because if somebody says, I want to go in column number one, what they really mean is index zero. So this column right here. So one of these. So the goal is starting at the bottom, I'm going to look at every single row in whatever column that they wanted and see is there a number there that's zero? If there's a zero, that means there's a free spot and that's where I want to put the chip. So that's why the first thing I do is subtract one from the column they're talking about. And the next thing I do is loop through starting at the biggest row possible. So because we've got uh, six different rows, I'm going to start with a seven index and that will take me to this last row and I'm going to look in whatever column they were interested in and say, well, is there a zero here? If there is, that's a legal move. So if they had said, I want to go in, in um, column four, that's a legal move or five or six or seven or even two. But if they say column one, that's not a, well, it's a legal move, but this isn't where we're going to put the chip because there already is a chip. So we'll next time through the for loop look and see, is there a zero in this column for this row? Is there a zero until we find one where we've got a zero and that means that's a legal spot and that's what we want to replace with the zero with either the one or two if it's a red or a yellow chip. So that's a lot. Uh, that's a lot, but not too many lines of code. So if I was running it and I say I want to go in position one, it's going to figure out, well, the next available spot is right about here. Um, let me run it again and try position seven and I'll just verify that, yep, it, it does end up putting that in position seven. All right, so that's really good. Um, we are making a change to the board and we're gonna wanna call this function more than once, the fill in function. So I'm just gonna try twice just to debug and then we're gonna put a loop around that and keep going until somebody wins the game. So I'll go ahead and run. And let me do column seven. And then now this is really supposed to be player two. So I already um, have something wrong. We need to be alternating between player one and player two. But I like how it's figuring out where the next available spot is. But we don't want to have to like copy and paste this over and over. We want to keep going until somebody wins.